Hi students, welcome to my lectures on thermodynamics. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss about reversible process, in other words, quasi-static process. In the field of thermodynamics, we calculate work requirements, heat requirements by assuming the process is the reversible process. As in the last class, we have discussed about the when we have to bring the system from state 1 to state 2, we have to follow some route, whether it will be constant pressure route or constant temperature route or constant volume route or polytropic route or adiabatic route, any route. Okay, We are finding the work and heat requirements for various process by, uh, by bringing the system from state 1 to state 2. So all these processes inbuilt, there is an assumption that every process is a reversible process or quasi-static process. And this is what the basic assumption. Okay. And uh, today we are discussing about what exactly the reversible process is. In very, very simple terms, I am going to give you one indication that a process is a reversible process such that for a given input, we get a maximum output. Okay. For a given input, we get maximum possible output from a reversible process. If it is an irreversible process, for a given input, we may not get the maximum possible output. And example, for IC engines, if I talk about, for a given heat, how much work I can get, engines. For a given heat input, how much amount of work I can expect. If it is a reversible process, for a given heat input to the piston and cylinder, maximum work can be extracted from it if it is a reversible process. If it is irreversible processes, what happens is the, mac the entropy generation takes place. As we discuss the concept of entropy in the later stages, what happens if it is an irreversible process, the entropy generation takes place. If there is an entropy generation, so maximum work we cannot extract from the system. Okay, let us discuss about that, about quasi-static or uh, reversible process. In let us take a small example of piston and cylinder. This is the, I mean, a kind of piston. This is a cylinder. There is some inbuilt, there is a gas, a liquid. This will be our system. A system consisting of a set of molecules. Okay, on the molecules, there will be the piston. On this piston, I have, we have kept certain weight on the piston, certain mass on the piston. Let us assume the pressure volume temperature will be the state 1. Okay, this is the state 1. What we have to do is bring this state 1 of the system to the different state. That means if I remove this mass, what is going to happen? Suddenly, if I remove the mass, what happens inside the molecules will move randomly. Okay, what is the objective of bringing system from state one to state two? Get maximum possible expansion. Okay, state one is this one. When you remove the mass, the piston will rise. So expansion of the system is going to take place. That is my state 2, okay, which is denoted by the symbol P2, V2, T2, pressure P2, volume V2, temperature T2. Okay. What happens is, if you suddenly remove the mass, what happens? The molecules inside the system will start moving randomly. Okay. Some molecule will try to push this side, some molecule will try to push this side, there are some molecule will try to push the corners. That means not every molecule is pushing upwards. Because if you suddenly remove the weight, the sudden expansion takes place, the oscillations okay, of the piston is going to take place. Because of this chaotic moment, not every molecule will try to push upwards. Some molecule will push left side, right side randomly. This is called the dissipation effect. That means if the molecules are moving very randomly, I cannot get maximum output from the system. On the graph, Okay, assume this is my state one of the system, pressure P1, example, this is P1, this is V1, okay, this is PV graph. This is a state two, which is V2, this is P2, okay, 
and this is I mean assume that this point is my state two, which is ideal point but because of this chaotic moment my second I mean because of this random motion I may not reach the point two I may reach point three or point four because everything moves randomly right by um, ideally it should come here but it will not come here it will go to the separate different locations okay because of this randomness this randomness is nothing but a irreversible process and second thing is the other word the quasi static process means between the point one and point two what is the path that has taken by the system that is important okay you cannot map the because you have re, you have removed the weight suddenly because of this sudden removal of the weight you cannot you cannot expect whether they has followed this path or whether they has followed this path or it has followed random path you don't know what it has gone okay randomly it might go here it might go here that means you are not defining the intermediate paths okay that is why causes if you assume the quasi static means if you remove this weight slowly that means if you remove this weight slowly okay you can able to map this path what is the next point is might be here might be here if you remove more weight then you can able to track down the path between state one and state two okay that is possible only if you i uh, mean uh, run the process at a very infinitesimally slowly then only you can be able to track between path one or two or path one or three this is what going to happen and another important drawback is <coughs> a reversible process okay it is the first case one it comes to under irreversible process why because assuming after removing weight two assuming uh, let us assume okay this is state one this is state two that means the system followed has this path if you keep this mass again back okay earlier what you have done is you have removed this mass now again keep the same mass here okay what what ideally it should happen again it should come back to the original position it is not going to happen why because of the sudden removal the randomness has got generated the randomness generation might have increased its energy internal energy okay might because because of more random motion dissipation effects temperature might have raised so because of this rise in temperature if you keep back the same mass here it will not come back to the original position that means only forward there won't be any backward okay because you have removed all of a sudden the temperature has gone up even though if you keep the weight it will not come to the original position let us discuss the same thing in a case two this time we remove the mass very slightly at a at a time example in case two this is my original position p1 v1 t1 okay there is a there is a system in this system certain amount of molecules will be there i have divided this mass into number of slices example 1 2 3 4 5 five different slices that means i have somehow uh, made this total mass into five different weights what i will do is i will remove the first mass okay first slice what happens if i remove this slowly when all the molecules will work towards the upside okay if you remove the mass automatically the piston expansion takes place that means every molecule inside the system will work collectively to push the system upward here there is a chaotic moment here there is no chaotic moment okay everyone is working towards in one unidirectional similarly if you remove the next mass from here next slice again even expansion takes place all the molecules will collectively here there is no dissipation effect here random moments dissipation is going to take place here there is no dissipation effects and if you remove some more mass see, like that if you slowly remove the mass at a infinitesimally slowly 
the ex maximum expansion is going to take place here ma maximum expansion may not take place because of this that means maximum output you may not able to get from the irreversible process but in the reversible process maximum output you can able to get okay that is what the that means you can able to go from state one to state two slowly okay again if you want to come back to the same position what i will do is i'll simply keep if it is if it is the highest point what i will do is i'll keep certain mass on top of it slowly again that means it will come back to this position if i keep more mass again i come back to this position okay if i keep more mass again i come back to the original position that is at any point of time i can go forward and i can go backward that means in a reversible process it is possible okay from state one to state two and state two state one without any additional things okay but here if you want to bring it to the same point i have to remove some amount of heat from the system because of generation of this heat because of this random chaotic moment that means i need to spend some extra amount of energy to bring back to the original position but here i don't need to worry about that simply i'll remove the mass it will go to the maximum point i keep the mass it will go to the original point this is the concept behind the reversible process all the equations you are studying in the thermodynamics are based on the assumption that whatever the process that is a constant pressure constant volume it, i mean you have to specify that reversibility of it then only there are equations available to calculate heat and work requirements in a process i hope now you completely understand what is quasi static and reversible process so this is what the basic understanding thank you very much i will come back with the next lecture on first law of thermodynamics see you soon